Now we're going to take a look at how we can use power series to find exact sums for numerical series. And we're going to go through this uh, exercise where there are six questions, uh, starting with um, this question where we want to find the sum of the series from 1 to infinity of n multiplied by x to the n minus 1 for x between negative 1 and 1. So when we look at the series uh, starting at 1 of n x to the n minus 1, n x to the n minus 1 should remind you of the derivative of x to the n. So this is, you can think of it as a series of general term derivative of x to the n, starting at 0, because of course when we differentiate uh, x to the 0 we get 0, so we can start at 0 or at 1, it doesn't really matter. And uh, that is simply the um, derivative of the series of general term x to the n as long as the series of general term x to the n is convergent um, if we are in the open interval of convergence that's thanks to the CRM on term by term differentiation or integration of power series and we know that the series of general term x to the n is absolutely convergent for absolute value of x less than 1 because this is a geometric series of first term 1 and uh, common ratio x. And therefore we know its sum as well which is 1 over 1 minus common ratio in other words 1 over 1 minus x and so we know how to differentiate this function uh, this is 1 minus x to the power negative 1 when we differentiate we get negative 1 minus x to the negative 2 multiplied by the derivative of 1 minus x which is negative 1. The two negative ones cancel and we get 1 minus x to the negative 2, in other words 1 over 1 minus x squared. And this is valid as long as absolute value of x is less than 1. So we found our formula for the series from 1 to infinity of nx to the n minus 1. In the next question we want to find the sum for a series that looks almost exactly the same. The only difference is that the power of x is n instead of n minus 1. But to get for from power n minus 1 to power n all we need to do is multiply by x and um, the series is over n so x for n is a constant and since we know that when absolute value of x is less than 1 we know that the series is convergent and therefore multiplying by a constant we can do that outside or inside of the series so I can write that as x multiplied by the series from 1 to infinity of n x to the n minus 1. But that later series as we have seen in the previous question is 1 over 1 minus x squared and therefore uh, this new series has some x over 1 minus x squared and again this is an equality that is valid as long as x is strictly between negative 1 and 1. Now in the third question we want to find the sum of a numerical series, specifically the series from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the n. So so far for this kind of case, uh, this kind of things that were numerical series that were neither uh, telescoping nor geometric, uh, we could not find the exact sum uh, usually. We could estimate the sum but rarely find the exact sum. Uh, all we could do is justify the convergence. In this case we're asked to find the exact sum. But now we're in a position to do that because you see that when you're looking at the sum from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the n, you can think of that as n multiplied by 1 half to the n. In other words, this is the value of the series of the power series n x to the n when x is 1 half. And we have a formula for this power series that applies whenever x is strictly between negative 1 and 1, which is the case for x equal 1 half. So we can plug x equal 1 half in our function x over 1 minus x squared, and we get 1 half over y 1 minus 1 half squared. 1 minus 1 half is of course 1 half. When we square we get 1 fourth. And 1 half over 1 fourth is 4 half, which is 2. So we have found the exact value of this series, which is 2. In question 4, we want to find the sum of the series starting at 2 of n, n minus 1, x to the n. 
well, this n times n minus 1 should uh, make you think of the derivative of this series, right? If I have the series of general term nx to the n minus 1, if I differentiate that, I'm going to get n n minus 1x to the n minus 2. So it's not exactly what we have uh, in question 4, but the coefficient cn is the same. So let's try to do that. Let's differentiate the uh, series starting at 1 of nx to the n minus 1. Then we get the series from 2 to infinity of n n minus 1 x to the n minus 2. The reason why we start at 2 is because on the left hand side when n is 1 uh, we have just a constant so when we differentiate that term disappears. So now we have almost the series we want in question 4 except we have a power x to the n minus 2 instead of x to the n. But we know that for absolute value of x less than 1, the series we have here has, uh, is also absolutely convergent. Right? If you have an absolutely convergent series, uh, if you're in the open interval of convergence and you differentiate term by term, you get a series that has the same radius of convergence. And therefore, we can multiply well, first we can write out what this derivative is by uh, taking the derivative of the function we have found for uh, the sum of the series nx to the n minus 1, and that's the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x squared. In other words, it's a derivative of 1 minus x to the negative 2, which is negative 2, 1 minus x to the negative 3, multiplied by the derivative of 1 minus x, so we end up with 2 1 minus x to the negative 3, in other words, 2 over 1 minus x cubed. So that's um, for the series where the power for x is n minus 2 instead of x. But now, if we want the power to be n, then all we need to do is multiply by, is multiply by x squared. This is a constant for the index of the series. And so we have x squared multiplied by the series from 2 to infinity of n n minus 1 x n minus 2 is the series that we're looking for. And so I'm multiplying x squared by this derivative that I have just found. So that's 2x squared over 1 minus x cubed. And this is valid as long as x stays in absolute value between negative 1 and 1. And in the next question, we want to find the sum of the numerical series uh, from n equal to to infinity of n square minus n over 2 to the n. Well, you can write this series n square minus n, you can factor n, and then you get n n minus 1, and then you have this 1 over 2 to the n, which I can write as 1 half to the n, and therefore you see that this is uh, an instance of the uh, power series for which we found the sum in the previous question specifically when x is 1 half. And therefore, because we have uh, a formula for this series uh, that is valid for any x between negative 1 and 1, it is valid in particular when x equals 1 half, so we're going to plug x equals 1 half in the function 2x squared over 1 minus x cubed. And x squared in that case is 1 fourth. When we multiply by 2, we're going to get 1 half. At the bottom, we have 1 minus 1 half cubed, well, that's 1 half cubed, that's 1 eighth. So we end up with 8 half, which is 4. So that means that the sum of our numerical series is exactly 4. So again, we get the exact sum of the numerical series. In the last question, we want to find the sum of one more numerical series, specifically the sum from 1 to infinity of n squared over 2 to the n. Now we can try to uh, relate this sum with uh, the other numerical series that we have evaluated, namely the one from question 5, whose sum was 4, and the one from question 3, whose sum was 2. And you see that uh, it looks like there might be some sort of relationship because we have n squared over 2 to the n minus n over 2 to the n um, for the series in question 5. Specifically, if I um, split the fraction, in the series that I have found in question 5, I get the series of uh, this difference of two terms. 
and additionally we know that the series of n over 2 to the n is convergent we calculated the exact sum in fact which is 2 and we also can easily prove that the series of n square over 2 to the n is convergent hopefully it is because the question is to find its sum for instance using the ratio test uh, if you use the ratio test on this series then uh, the uh, n plus 1 term is n plus 1 squared over 2 to the n plus 1 we multiply by the reciprocal of the n term 2 to the n over n square and what we get is n plus 1 over n squared multiplied by 1 half which approaches 1 half as n goes to infinity which means that the limit of the ratio of two consecutive terms is strictly less than 1 and therefore the series is convergent by the ratio test so now I have my series of a difference of two terms and for these general terms the corresponding series are both convergent then I can say that the series of the difference is the difference of the series and therefore I can now solve for the series I'm looking for which is a series of n square over 2 to the n of course the series I'm looking for starts at 1 and here everything is starting for the index n equal 2 but we will take care of that in a moment so now what do we have? we have um, the series starting at 2 of n square over 2 to the n which is the sum of this series which we know sums up to 4 exactly and this series from 2 to infinity of n over 2 to the n where we have found that the series starting at 1 is equal to 2 of course if the series starting at 1 is equal to 2 then the series starting at 2 is just 2 minus the value of the first term when n equals 1, which is 1 half. So this is just 2 minus 1 half. And now the series we're looking for, which is the series of general term n square over 2 to the n when starting from n equal 1 to infinity, is equal to the first term when n equal 1, which is 1 half, plus the series starting at 2 of n square over 2 to the n which we have found to be 6 minus 1 half so I have 1 half plus 6 minus 1 half that's 6 and now we have found the sum the exact sum of our numerical series now in this uh, second exercise we have two questions we want to find a power series representation for the arctangent function on the open interval negative 1 1 and deduce the sum of a numerical series. So for arctangent, maybe uh, we don't really know what to do directly on arctangent, but we have seen that in this kind of cases, uh, if we were able to do something either for the derivative or the integral of the function, then, uh, then we can proceed. And in this case, the derivative of the function is 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is easily expressed as the sum of a geometric series because I can write it as 1 over 1 minus negative x squared and this is the sum of a geometric series of common ratio negative x squared and first term 1 therefore it is the sum from 0 to infinity of negative x squared to the n which I can write negative 1 to the n x to the 2n under the condition that absolute value of negative x squared is less than 1 which is the same condition as absolute value of x is less than 1 and so that means that arctangent is an antiderivative of this power series and can be obtained under the form a constant plus a series from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n antiderivative of x to the 2n which is x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 and to find c we just look at the value at 0 of the arctangent function in two ways arctangent of 0 is 0 uh, this is just the property of the arctangent function and on the other hand if we plug 0 in the equality we just have obtained because the powers of x are always at least 1 I get 0 in the series so arctangent 0 in this uh, formula gives me just c in other words the constant c is 0 and arctangent x is exactly the series from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n divided by 2n plus 1 x to the 2n plus 1 and this is valid when the absolute value of x is less than 1 in fact it turns out to be valid as well when x is 1 or negative 1 but this is a different story and we don't 
need uh, this in this exercise. So this is what we have for arctangent x on the open interval negative 1, 1. Now in the second question, we are asked to deduce the sum of these series, and you see that they look similar, these two series. Right? Specifically, they are series from 0 to infinity, both of them, and they have a negative 1 to the n at the top, a 2n plus 1 at the bottom. And we could try to match this numerical series with our power series if we were able to write root 3 over 3 to the n plus 1 as x to the 2n plus 1 for some x, for some x hopefully between negative 1 and 1. So how do we do that? Well, let's look at this root 3 over 3 to the n plus 1. If I write 3 as root 3 squared, then what I obtained for 3 to the n plus 1 is root 3 to the 2 times n plus 1, 2 n plus 2. So you obtain root 3 over root 3 to the 2 n plus 2, that's 1 over root 3 to the 2 n plus 1, which I can write 1 over root 3 to the power 2 n plus 1. In other words, my numerical series is really the value of arctangent at 1 over root 3, which is a number less than 1. But this is um, easy to calculate because 1 over root 3 is really 1 half over root 3 over 2. So um, when the angle is pi over 6, sine is 1 half and cosine is root 3 over 2. In other words, the tangent is 1 over root 3. So arctangent of 1 over root 3 is pi over 6. Now it's time for you to turn to homework on power series.